Hello, my friends. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate you. Well, we've got a really special one in store for you today. So if you're all ready, hold my beer. Watch this. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Uh, today we're going to do a painting video. We're going to paint a bunch of lure blanks up and we're going to paint them in a classic yellow perch style. So you can see here we've got a light orange on the belly to simulate these orange fins that you see on a yellow perch. Just gives us that flash of orange. Uh, then the side here is going to be yellow and green and then I use a, a dark brown for the uh, the stripes and so forth. And you can get these um, you can get these mirror finish lures in um, a lot of different shapes and sizes. Here's a lipless. It comes with a mirror finish. That looks a little cloudy, but once you put some paint on it, it gets a, a lot more sparkly. Uh, this is the same lure that the sample is painted in. Here's a deep diver with real tight, uh, real tight wobble on those. Um, nice, uh, nice for spring fishing. I'm almost out of spring fishing, but um, a, a nice choice there. One of the things I want to point out is you can see that these guys kind of have this red tinge to them when they flash and uh, fear not once you've painted the the translucent green on there all you get is a flash so uh, don't let that red uh, uh, be off-putting because it's it it really is just a, a, a bright sparkly mirror finish once once the green's been put on there so uh, that's about it. Uh, we'll get started here and I'll, I'll go through it really quickly here. I'm only going to show a video for one of the, the lures that I'm painting here, but I will paint all. I will end up painting all of those. So maybe a snapshot or thumbnail. We'll see all of them painted, but that's that's the plan. All right, let's get started. Okay, first color we're going to start with is a transparent yellow. And uh, I'll use the Createx brand paints uh, and this is called 5114 bright yellow and it is transparent. Now I'm usually spraying right around 40 pounds sometimes a little bit um, a little bit more than that sometimes a little bit less and it uh, it's something you need to balance with the thickness of your paint that's a question that gets asked a lot by new airbrush folks is uh, how much pressure do I spray with? Well, it depends. It depends on how thin your your paint is and the size of the aperture on your airbrush and a number of other things. All right, so we're going to start with this yellow. Now the reason why I'm starting with yellow is because I, uh, I want to be able to fade the green down to a lighter color and if you've ever looked at a yellow perch they have a lot of yellow in them. <laughs> so that's why we're starting with yellow and uh, that's all there is to it. It's just a, a light coat of the yellow and hair dry it to dry it off. Okay, next color we're going to use is 5109 Bright Green. Uh, I'm going to use this as also transparent color. Uh, transparent right across the front. <clears throat> Createx. Um, I'm going to use this right out of the bottle. I may thin it a little, but uh, I'm not changing the color at all. Just right out of the bottle. Yeah, I'm going to thin that a little. And I thin it with... Just plain old water. Uh, another question that's asked a lot is, what do you thin your paints with? And I, I always just thin them with water. You can use a reducer. Um, it probably gives a slightly better flow, but you know, the price you, you use for water is pretty inexpensive. And I'm not using bottled water, even though it looks like it. I'm using water right out of the tap. Okay, there we go. There's our green. Oh, 
Okay, when we put the green down, I'm just going to spray it from the back and I'm just going to let it uh, uh, fade into the sides. So lots of light coats helps keep it from crawling back. I'll show you an example of what, what crawling back looks like, but uh, lots of light coats. much on that one so you can actually see on this guy here he's got a little bit of uh of the paint crawling back uh, i'll have a better example of that i can show you but uh that's uh, partially because of how much air i'm spraying out of the brush and how uh how, how much water how watered down the the uh, paint is so thicker the paint you get less of that Okay, next color is transparent red. That is Createx 5117 bright red. And yeah, it's red. And I said I was going to spray paint the bottoms orange, but this is transparent going over a yellow base. It should come up slightly orange. You just have to be somewhat light handed. Uh, you can also mix some yellow in with the red if you're concerned about it, but I've done this enough to know that, that I'll be able to get uh, red out of that just fine, or orange out of that just fine. Orange. Nothing to it. All right, a couple things I want to point out here. First of all, this was a super old lure that I am refurbishing, and its original color was Fire Tiger. And you can see that at this point, they look an awful lot like a Fire Tiger. If I just put a couple of skinny black lines on there, you'd say, oh, Fire Tiger. So that's essentially the same pattern. And uh, this one is painted over a white base. And when you use translucent colors, I wanted to point out just how bright those translucent colors come out when you paint over white. So a um, little tip there to, to get you on the right path. If you're looking for really bright colors, you can either use fluorescent uh, paints and or uh, translucents over white. All right, so uh, you can see here, same thing, uh, essentially Fire Tiger. Um, and you can see that, that beautiful shine through the, uh, through the uh, translucent paint. Okay, next color uh, is going to be a dark brown. And, um, oh, uh, I should probably talk to you a little bit about uh, the stencils. So this is just a piece of cardboard that I made a stencil out of. This works fine. Um, but I, I, this stuff is um, a lot more uh, robust. And this is a plastic shower liner. Uh, you see this like glued to the side of bathrooms and stuff, especially in commercial um, um, applications. Bought this at Home Depot. You can buy a four by eight sheet. It's like five bucks or something. It's super cheap. Okay, maybe now they're $10, but you can get a four by eight sheet of this stuff. And you can cut it out with a pair of scissors or X-Acto knife, anything like that, to, to make patterns. Um, I also have used some some uh, fancy hole cutters and stuff to create patterns. So um, great, it's a great pattern material and allows you to uh, uh, to reuse and reuse and reuse. I've been using this for about a year and a half. So uh, that's that's the next thing. All right, let's uh, let's try painting some stripes on this guy. 
and get some, uh, yeah, there's some dark paint coming out of there. That's good. That's a positive. All right, now I pretty much eyeball this stuff. It's not that critical. I don't think the fish are going to be measuring the millimeters uh, about uh, how far apart the stripes are. That's all there is to it. Now, I will go through and put the stripes on all of these before I flip them over because I like to have the, uh, you can see I like to have it curved and I, I do that by just bending it. So um, I'll do all one side, then I'll come back and do the other sides. Actually, you know what? I don't, I think that needs to be a little darker. Probably okay the way it is, but eh, we're going to go a little darker. Yeah, darker. Uh, darker does a couple things. It gives it a higher contrast, and uh, it also gives you a chance to hide some stuff. <laughs> so uh, there we go. We got stripes on one side. Okay, we're going to paint the stripes on the other side. And once we have our stripes on, then we're going to put a dark stripe down the center here. And that's all there is to it. And a clear coat on there and it'll look fantastic. Okay, let's put some eyeballs on these guys. They're actually a little bit bigger than they're supposed to be for this lure. But I kind of like the oversized eye. Oh, yeah. I love it. Hi there. Time to uh, do some clear coating now. I've let these sit overnight so that they're good and dry. You don't want any moisture on your lures when you're going to do a clear coat. So uh, we've done that. I use the Illumilite UV Cure. I like that UV Cure and the Illumilite in particular. I've always had good success with it. You pay slightly more than you would uh, if you bought um, some of the cheaper clear coats on eBay or Amazon, but um, it's always worked for me. And, and they, have, they have prevented the sale of their product if they don't feel like it's up to snuff. So I've um, been very happy with this, with this product. So and that's warmed why it up a little bit so we can have some, <clears throat> some success with it. All right. And let's compare that to my sample lure. Um, very, very similar. Of course, I painted that one too, but it gives you an idea how, how easy it is to repeat a pattern. All right, let's drop this guy in the uh, UV tank, and uh, we'll be ready to go fishing with him in about 30 minutes. And there is the entire school of perch. All for today. Uh, really appreciate you sticking around and watching until the end. If you would please like and subscribe, that helps me out a lot. Um, and if there's anything you'd like to see me paint or uh, another pattern you'd like to see done, you know, just mention it in the comments. I'll make that happen. Thank you.